All right, y'all, where we back with another one. You already know what time it is, man. Monday morning, it's April 15th. Shout out to everybody that's able to make this live stream with your boy. We on the hunt for the latest and greatest meme coins, man. We we ready, you know, the Solana loaded to the roof. You know, let me, let me show you what we found this morning, right? So, so far, Shout out to everybody that's in the chat too. Shout out to everybody that, that's here. Share this video on Telegram and Twitter. Right. Let me make sure my volume ain't overlapping. Yeah, share this on Telegram and Twitter. We live. It's early Monday morning. Hunting for the gems. Uh this was Shield in my chat, man. Brit on soul. Brit on soul. So y'all know uh brett right big brett if you don't know let me just refresh your memory um big brett on eve on base eve right this base eve right is at 700 million 700 million and then they came out with another play brett this also on base eve this was the you know the female counterpart to Brett Brit, right? This was on base. It's at four million. Not a meme has come over to the Solana blockchain. Not a meme is on the Solana blockchain. It's sending right now. It's trending everywhere. It's trending on Telegram, trending, it's trending on Dex Screener. It's trending on Dex Tools. They got Dex Tools updated. They got everything set up right. So this play. When I seen it, I'm like, yeah, this the one. I'm like, this this look good. This look good. This look good. So, yeah, shout out to everybody in the chat. Yeah, Pishi printed on Pishi, right? I think I'm saying it right. Printed on Pishi last night. All right, I pull up the chart. I think it's still like in a hundred k range. Let's see, it went to a million. 400k this shit went over a million last night it was going crazy uh but yeah this was something i got in i seen it in my chat at 150k and i got in this play uh yesterday got this on my watch i got in this play yesterday this was one of the only plays i got in and i had got in a pre-sale it was a pre-sale for book of pussy Right, it was a play called Book of Pussy, and I got in that pre sale and I got out in profit. It was like it sent up so crazy, but there was like, um, all of the exchange listings and shit was coming today. I thought they was gonna initially come tomorrow, well, on a, at launch, but they was like they was gonna come tomorrow and shit. So I took my profit, but yeah, we got in that. That was a that was the second play I got in yesterday. Pick. Pishy, Pesci, have the fuck you pronounce that shit. But yeah, man. Uh, this morning we got in Brit, Brit, All right? It's trending. Just wanted to hop on live and show y'all this early. It's seven a.m. right now. Seven a.m. where I'm at. So y'all still got an opportunity if this shit break out to multi millions. Now y'all know how them Monday gyms be. Like for the past two Mondays, we've been catching some good plays, like multi-million dollar plays to the point it's like you make so much profit, you'd be like, damn, you didn't hit your goal for the week. So I like hitting my goal for the week early and then, you know, playing around with whatever come out later on in the week. But um, yeah, we it's a lot that's about to happen. Uh, you know, Hong Kong, they just got approved for the ETFs. You know, shout out to Hong Kong. They got approved for the Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs. The market green. You know, it's a green morning right now. The market green. Uh, let me see if I can pull up. The market green right now. So, like I said on my last video, if y'all was watching my last live stream, it's all a cycle. Everything happens in cycles when it comes to this crypto. And you have to know that and you can never 
get too scared. You can't get shaken out. You got to know, you got to have conviction, man. You got to have conviction. You got to know, like, crypto is a long-term game. I don't care what nobody say. Like, crypto is a long-term game. I know we we are in a sec, a sec, a section of crypto, right? A sector, section of crypto, whatever you want to fucking call it. We in a section of crypto called meme coins where we trade meme coins daily. We look for hidden gems and meme coins because of the gains they produce. But cryptocurrency, the technology, blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, the big ones, Tether, all of that is here to stay. And it's going to continue uh, to get more and more support. It's going to get infrastructure built around it, all type of shit. So don't ever fade crypto in general. Like it was just red the other day. Now we going back up into the green. And I'm telling y'all, like, watch. After the Bitcoin having the Bitcoin having still about the having fully processed, right? Having uh, the block hasn't uh, processed yet for the Bitcoin having um, to go from six point two to three point one. So once that happened, that's about to happen um, from now to the twentieth. One of these days is just gonna happen, and everybody gonna know. Like they definitely gonna update all over Twitter and all over the crypto Twitter space. They gonna update, and we gonna know so uh just get ready like this week we should have a green week all week it should be like a, a continuous upstream you know upswing you know up and to the right so y'all stay bullish on crypto this week shout out to everybody that's here early morning in the chat <clears throat> all right everybody that's here early morning in the chat we live yeah this on solana this brick on solana what up though rio i watch dex tools like a hawk but i miss all the good plays yeah like it's really is i mean People finding plays on Dex Screener. Like Dex Screener got a good way to find like these some good Solana plays. Uh the AI bot. You know. Like the AI bot is better than watching live pairs on, on Dex Screener. I feel like, you know. But it is, you will find things on live pairs that the bot don't call. So it's like a balance. I think if you like live pair hunting on Dex Tools or Dex Screener, you need to like mix in the AI bot too. You know. Do you think Brick gonna do more? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think this got potential. I like good meme coins like this. Like this is an easy meme coin that can send. Like I like meme coins that can see in like with or without my support. I feel like a meme coin like this can see in if I say something about it or not. You know, I'm gonna do my part and push and you know bring awareness to it. But meme coins like this with a narrative, it got a good narrative. Is is you know Brett girlfriend, so she gonna see in. She gonna do millions like. She got potential to do millions like this coin. This meme definitely got potential to do millions. Easy. It ain't like an unfamiliar meme. It's new, but it ain't unfamiliar. And then people who've seen what it could do on another blockchain, they already seen what it could do on base. They like, if you familiar, if you tapped in with the meme coin space, you've seen this on base at four, five million. It just ran up. I think it went higher than that. You know, it went higher than where it's at right now. But let me look at it real quick on base. What was all? Yeah, it was seven million. Yeah, it's still sitting up good though. Chart still look good. It went. It really went to nine million, nine point four million. It flared up to nine point four million. So this almost hit ten million basically. This project almost hit ten million dollars. That's a good run for the um, base blockchain. And I feel like what this project did already in this early, 
Like it's gonna hit a million. It's gonna hit a million. It's just like PC. I knew this was gonna hit a million too. Like look at the chart. It's kind of you got like the same chart. Like it may be some little sell offs, you know, on on brick. Some little mini sell offs. But overall, it's a bullish play for Monday, for right now. So I think people are gonna gravitate to it. And then they're gonna be like, oh, that shit, I saw that shit on base. I could just see people gravitating to it today. Been hitting plays all weekend in the telly. Yeah, that's what I like to hear, man. I love I love to hear that y'all printing. You know, I feel like we got the best telegram in crypto. You know, we hunt for meme coins, right? And we always find something good, you know, no matter what. Even if it ain't the biggest play, you know, we known for catching big plays. We known for always coming through. Somebody going to come through with some big shit, right, all the time. Like, somebody going to pull up with a big-ass fucking play. But even if everybody in the group don't get in it, it's still, like, just the opportunity. Like, somebody caught that motherfucker. And then it be plays, like, where we all get in and everybody just in that mud. We all printing. But, yeah, like, shout out to everybody that's in the chat, that's supporting the chat. You know, we're going to continue to build with these meme coins and shit and just continue to navigate the space. You know, anything new we learn to make us better traders, we going to share. That's one thing about my group. We're going to share the information, you know. And right now, we got the bots. Like, I, I love these AI bots for 2024. Like how they just coming through. Or 2024 is like, and I feel like they're going to get smarter or better. You know, but this was called on an AI bot, one of the AI bots. Shield me some gems, man. Shield me some gems, y'all. This is what I got. I got brick. I got brick for y'all. I'm joining your telly. I don't want to be charged the other day, the first, so I'm going to wait on the first. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Patreon just set up like that. It it always charged on the first. Like No matter what day you join, it charged on the first. So, this is how it's set up. But joining the Telegram, it ain't even necessary because I'm going to always pull up with the gems. Y'all can follow me on Twitter, too. If y'all want to follow me on Twitter. and uh, uh shit, I'll be shilling shit on Twitter. But Telegram, it's like, that's for everything. That's all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Because it be plays, I'll be getting in, like, uh, PC. I don't even, like, some plays, they, don't, they be up so much i'll be like i don't even want to tweet this shit i like tweeting with a low market cap so people can see it it's already ran I, then i think about tweeting it probably be already up or i didn't forget like i just was trading but yesterday i was like with family i was outside i wasn't even i wasn't even thinking about <laughs> doing nothing productive it was feeling good I was just having a good time yesterday, eating, you know. It was hot as fuck. It was like, it was like 83 degrees, nigga. It was like, it felt like summer for real yesterday. So everybody was like barbecuing and family shit. You know what I'm saying? It was that type of vibe yesterday. I hope it be hot again today. I can't wait till the summer. Like summer weather all year round. Summer weather all year round. I love the bots. I don't know anything about them to you. Didn't know anything about them to you mentioned them. Yeah. We we're gonna keep sharing the knowledge. 
We can keep sharing the knowledge. Damn, who sold? It's always happening. But most likely, you know, this ain't financial advice. It's meme coins, highly volatile. But most likely, the shit gonna go to over a million, right? And when it do go over a million, I'm gonna document it. If it don't do it this morning, like it just, if it don't do it on this live stream, but it run later on, I'm gonna do another live stream just to show y'all. But I got a feeling it's like an easy, obvious million. It's like an obvious million dollar play. It feel like it to me. It feel like an obvious little quick million dollar play. You know, selling right here is crazy. Don't sell right here. Don't sell right here. But some people was up. Some people in my chat got good entry points on this. Like they was getting low entry points, like 60K, 80K. I got in this one a little high, like it was 200K when I got in this, but I ate that motherfucker. I said, huh. I had to hood that motherfucker. I had to ape the chart. But. Yeah, we got a good bag of this. I just wanted to run. I just wanted to run like shit. A million, a million, a million. I feel like this could do like it could really break out. That'd be crazy. Like, what if it break out and then it do better than the one on base? It do better than the Brit on base. The Brit on base went to nine point four million. And these niggas selling. These folks out here selling. These folks out here selling, man. These folks out here selling. We going up the trending though, and they got a uh, 1.2 million in volume. Holders is growing nice. I think this is an initial little sell off before the real breakout. I like it above that 500. Keep it above that 500. You know. Somebody just ate that motherfucker chart. We got Jet in the building. Power trip. That's a power trip. Yeah, I just, I just dropped my little song, my little music. You know what I'm saying? Had dropped some little music for the universe, you know, for for manifestation purposes only, you know. I don't even want to, I don't rap. I'm not a rapper. I drop music for manifestation purposes only. I'm not no rapper. Shout out to Ronnie in the chat. Hey, good morning to everybody. I got in a little high too at 300k. Yeah, I think this still gonna run. Though. I think, man, if my if my intuition is right, if my feeling, this feeling I got, it should go to a million. Like, and it's so early, it's eight o'clock. Like y'all know, crypto is different. You know, crypto is different. Crypto is twenty four seven. You know, it never stop, never sleep, but. I always think about like the stock market like you know the stock market how they trade in hours from nine to five so it'd be like you know when people wake up sometimes we find that you can find a gym early like 4 a.m you know you can find it 7 8 you can find it early in the morning but then like when people wake up from that nine to five period that's when a lot of accumulation happen and shit can get sent sent you know from nine to five you just think about all the plays you know you probably got it some early in the morning then like you know, from that nine to five period, they just get bought up or after that, like after when people get off work too, you know, because crypto keep going, it like the market don't close. They trade more after, you know, five, it'll, it'll be like, it's another period, like after five in the evening where crypto begins sent too, like that evening time, you know, crypto begins sent hard too. And then it's like, 
and I'm on Eastern Standard Time, so it's probably different for your time zone and how you correlate it. But yeah, like Eastern Standard Time would be like that nine to five. Like or people be waking up in the morning. Like I notice, like if you catch a good play in the morning or early in the morning, like it should be running by, you know, in that period, you know, in that in that little time frame. If it's building up like this, you know, mo most meme coins, they got a strong narrative and you buy them early in the morning and they run up like this, it'll be them sell-offs. But then later on in the day, by noon, we should see a whole different market cap if this is solid ass play. And I think it is. I think it is. You know. Check out, what's the ticker symbol? Blue and Moot? That look crazy. I don't even know what to look up. That was like three different ticker symbols. Check blue and moot. Check blue and moot. <laughs> like, nigga, what? They aping the chart, but people selling so why is people selling so heavy? I know them Solana med bots eating. Silently eating in the background. You know, I'm still on a hunt for a med bot. I'm gonna just put that out there in the world. Still on a hunt for a med bot. You know, if I found that junk, man. Man, oh man. I have to put that on the market. I have to put that on the market because nobody is marketing it in like a safe, secure way. And if I found the safe, secure med butt, that could be duplicated. I probably I probably fuck up the game. The way I'll be marketing everybody to get to buying them of a like the yarn myth. Got that yarn myth. <laughs> got that yarn myth, nigga. I don't got it. I just throw a thousand in and go to sleep. Wake up ten thousand. The med bot's crazy because you just that's all you gotta do. Like once they program, you just funding it. That's all you doing is funding it, and it's working by itself, getting the money. Hands off, hands free, god damn it. No thought involved. All you doing is waking up. You just hit the button on some shit. You just hit the button and now nah, it's just producing money. Like you gotta you gotta read them articles about the med bots. Like them people who they them it's like they got a group. They got a group of motherfuckers who I don't know, they be they just be traveling all over the world, but they run med bots and they don't do nothing like they literally just set it up and fund it and they be talking about like how it outperformed the top hedge funds like it's a forbes article about med bots that i think everybody should read but that's it interesting we got doug in the chat doug said you gotta charge at least 10 so for the med bot, yeah man <laughs> yeah they go the money's gonna be at least a thousand Y'all gonna have to at least pay a thousand because you're gonna make this is generational wealth. This is generational wealth. That's why nobody really tell you about it. And then like to to learn about the med box, you just really gotta study. Like they set it up so you gotta read. Like they set it up so you gotta read, you gotta code. Nobody has made it like accessible yet, you know, like in a package downloadable form or just you know her take this code like they got it was a it's a scam on youtube but that ain't like don't like how to make a med bot and then they give you this fake code i told y'all about that but no nah, they if it was a safe one man <laughs> i think everybody would know about it too like that junk would have got around but that junk still like a little secret Brett, yeah, we got Brett right now. Y'all can shield me. I, I had a feeling it was 
multiple coins you was chilling blue and muku muku or manku monclair monclair blue on soul which one blue the frenchy all the liquidities is low on these oh i hope you ain't pulling up like that manku all right this look good manku 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 When is drop on the 13th? What is Manku? Oh, that's a monkey. That looks like the one monkeys that be fighting people. I know y'all seen them. Like they got I don't know where where they be at. They be, they be in Thailand or I know they probably in Africa or Australia. But they got the one monkeys that be snatching people cameras. <laughs> they be smacking people and shit. I know y'all seen no monkeys. That's what the monku. Monku. That's what that monku monkey look like. Bread. Fight back. They trying to send my baby to the store. It's too early for all that, man. It's too early. And I want this to send the multi millions just because whoever just sold right here. Send the multi millions. It's like with these meme coins, you gotta keep your eye on them. You gotta keep your eye on them. When I'm in the play, I'll be focused like it's a game. They selling my baby. We got Alpha Lion in the chat. Shout out to everybody that be pulling up to the Yon World chat. You know, I appreciate y'all for real. You know, one day I'm going to have 5,000 people in the chat. You know, I'm going to be like, damn, I can't even see. I can't even talk to y'all like it was. One thing I want. One thing I want for my chat. Right. We do it every year. We we've been doing it every year, but I just want to catch like one of them legendary ass plays again. A legendary ass hundred million dollar plus play. It's time. It's time for the chat. To catch another hundred million dollar play, bro. It's approaching. I feel it. I feel it coming. Soon, sooner than later. You know. We're gonna be a part of a million dollar play like everybody. A hundred million dollars. I said a million dollar play. We got the plug in the chat. Mass DJ, he said, "Yo, G, what's the place? You know, early morning. We looking at Brit on Soul. Out of everything I've been seeing, this makes sense right now. Oh, Queen been holding down that play. I, damn, that shit actually went crazy as fuck. Trimp Cat." Trent Cat. Oh, yo, dog. Queen been shilling this shit. The whole time, too. The whole time. This been out 
Yeah, it's been off for some days. It's been off for two weeks. I kept seeing Queen shoot this. And now I said a milli. A milli yo. Oh, that's a crazy growth bet. That's a crazy growth bet. I want to see some. I wonder if they gonna is they gonna really get listed. I'm gonna watch. Uh, but no, this chart, this chart is showing crazy growth. This chart is showing crazy growth. Um, I like that, and I like when the chart look look like this too. When you kind of bottom out, and then it just like go all the way back, <laughs> like that's. That's it with. Um, bro, Brit, talk like Crash did. Already a fucking copy. Wait, what you talking about? What y'all talking about? This a whole different blockchain. So it don't, it don't even count. Blue, the third one on the search bar. Brit. Brit on so nice organic chart, you know. It's a good time to add some more. If you need some more, you can. Uh, I think it's a good, uh, good time to scoop. Get a little bit extra for the milli road. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this all play out. But I think it's gonna be a good week though overall. Um, with. You know, Hong Kong getting the ETFs approved. We got the Bitcoin having this week. So is the Bitcoin having is this week. No, like it's, I don't know what day it's gonna either happen on 420, uh 418. Like it's gonna be in between that. Like I think it's gonna happen on 420 though. Uh so yeah, then we got the ripple effect of the Bitcoin having like within the next, you know, these next three to six months, you know, after the Bitcoin having is announced like whatever day, if it's 420, the next three to six months, pay attention to how the market increases and like all of the hype and shit around it. And then we're going to be going into the motherfucking, um, then the fourth quarter, which is going to be bullish. So I think everything is, like I said, in divine order, you know what I'm saying? It's all gonna work out. Didn't get in on any war plays. Yeah, I didn't get in on any war plays either. Um, only thing I did yesterday was um, I had bought a pre sale. It was like I was feeling bullish, but I actually made money on it. I made money on the pre sale. And um, what else I do? I had got in Pinchy. Pinchy. Pinchy, whatever the fuck. Pinchy. Little yellow Pepe. All of these are like Pepe dogs. And all of these look, all them characters, they just remind me of Pepe. All of these is like, even Brett, this is Pepe. <laughs> like, all of these is like Pepe, you know, disguises. <laughs> but yeah, man. We're going to see what happened, though. They ain't letting Brett be great right now. But it's still super early. Uh. Oh, shit.
Y'all got any other plays? Any other plays? Any other opportunities for your boy? What is what is this play at? It's on Solana. All of these market caps super low. Look at that coin. Mew. Cat in a dog's world. This shit went crazy. Book of Meow. Book of fucking Meow. Oh! This was crazy, bro. I was, I was mad because with this play, this play was so crazy. Oh, shit, hold on real quick. Oh, my bad, y'all. This play... Book of Meow. Y'all know I did a promo video for this. But they hit me up before it even launched. They hit me up before it even launched. Like, yeah, we want your support. I'm like, damn, this would have been a crazy. This would have been a, a play of the damn month for my community. But that's why I got to like, I don't know. Shout out to everybody to be reaching out to me. You know, sometimes... I know I don't be responding to everybody, but goddamn, it be a lot of messages sometimes, or it don't even be like that much, but just managing talking to so many different people, then focused on what I what I gotta do. It'd be a, it'd be a lot sometimes. So sometimes I'll be missing, like or I don't see or I won't see a certain email or message to like hours later or whatever. Cause people be hitting me up in the email, motherfucker, Twitter, Telegram, Telegram really be jumping for real. Telegram be jumping, but shout out to all the teams though they be watching and reaching out. We working, you know. Shout out to everybody that be reaching out with them real opportunities, man. That's why I be looking for the real opportunities. Cause some people, some teams hit me up, and like I said, I give them the benefit of the doubt, like. All right, let me see what y'all going to do. Like, but when them alpha teams hit me up, it's like the approach be different. Like, the approach be professional and shit. The meme coin be looking clean. The logo be looking clean as fuck. Like, oh, yeah, y'all about to do something. What else we got, y'all? What else we got? The market back green. It's about to be a good week. We about to print heavy. Brit on base. Alpha line. Y'all ran up to nine million. God damn. Freaky Kiki. Kiki. Freaky Kiki. Let's see. A little Kiki from the east side. I bet she from the east side. I bet she live on the east side. Wherever she at. East something. <laughs> east. She from the east side. You know, if y'all are like, damn, why ain't, you know what I'm saying? If you was ever wondering, like, damn, why I ain't making no money? What the fuck going on? I feel stuck. You need to move to the east side. Oh, that's just a public service announcement for everybody out there. Got to move to the east side one time. Wherever you at, move on the east side of it. Bro, J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar? Well, J. Cole is, I don't know. J. Cole is like high school rap now. Nah, J. Cole is like for for like 13-year-olds and shit. Nah, I can't even listen to J. Cole no more. But uh, Kendrick, I, if, if you're talking about J. Cole or Kendrick, yeah. But who winning that rap battle? 
Man, that boy Drake. That boy Drake winning that rap, rap battle right now. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga, it was a, a 20v1. <laughs> he fried everybody. That nigga fried everybody. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Like, that's, that nigga was rapping. That nigga was rapping, talking about dropping, give me 50. And then, like, like they own 50% of Kendrick Lamar shit. That shit was just, it was crazy. And then he was doing them push ups. I don't know. That shit was, that shit was uh, clever. That was a clever ass little rap. And, I heard Rick Ross. I heard Rick Ross' response too, because he fried. He was talking about Rick Ross. He he fried everybody on that uh, drop and give me fifty shit. Drake, he came at Kendrick the most though. But Rick Ross responded already, talking all that mafia. Who's a booty booty the keys and the butter bees and the butter butter bees and my double D's. <laughs> Like Rick Ross, shut your ass up. But no, Rick Ross, I fuck with Rick Ross. But it just was like, his his diss was like, I don't know. Like, I think that's why he was just saying like the white boy shit. Cause he ain't really had no, he ain't say nothing for real. Like you was supposed to just say some personal shit or like just a funny ass little bar. But Rick Ross, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about that. But like when I listen to it, like from a real music point of view, when I I look at anybody shit, uh, when I, when I, I mean I mean when I listen to everybody shit, that's what I mean. When I listen to everybody shit, even from the like that to Drake response to fucking J Cole shit to Rick Ross, everybody Drake shit was the hardest. And then he dropped another snippet, and that shit sound even crazier. Like they just dropped another snippet today. He going that push a T and all them niggas. Like that shit sound crazy. But that that I like when rap like that. I like when rap like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a competitive sport at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's a competitive sport and that make motherfuckers want to rap, you know. That make motherfuckers want to rap, so. J. Cole moving weird, man. J. Cole, I don't care. You don't apologize. Don't apologize. Like, just don't apologize, bro. Like, you got to save the apologies for the women. I think, like, if you got to, that's only, that's only one I'm apologizing to. Or if I'm, like, wrong in a business deal, I ain't, pro- but other than I ain't apologizing to a grown ass man. If I said it, I meant it, god damn it. <laughs> like, at this point, if I said it, I meant it. And then if somebody disrespect you, it ain't that, it ain't, it's like that nigga said, nigga, fuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. And then he's like, for all the dogs, you know, get buried, nigga. So it was like, you had a, he opened up a lane for you to respond. Like, he, it wasn't like, it was just all friend, friendly, friendly. No, he disrespected you. So you had to, you had a lane to disrespect him back. And you should have just did it. And if you was going to apologize, do it in private. Don't do that shit in public where niggas recording you. Now we got the video. Now everybody can go see the video of J. Cole uh, apologizing on damn, on this, like, hell no. Nah. It would have been it would have been better if you was talking crazy like yeah I'm gonna get this I'm gonna get the motherfuckers <laughs> Drake winning right now J Cole moving weird yeah Kendrick Kendrick gotta just go crazy like that fucking that same type of energy on like that like you need like an aggressive ass beat. And he just got to go at that same energy on that he was going on motherfucking like that. And I think it'd be a good response. But this just going to show you, like, who the best? Who the best? But that shit crazy. That nigga said, your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. (laughs) Like, 
And then that's that's what's like that's what's funny about the Drake disc because he helped all of the motherfuckers. He helped all of the motherfuckers like become something, you know, from the weekend, the future, to motherfucking Kendrick. Like he all he gave all of them niggas a hit. Like they first, they first like number one or some shit. Like you can look this shit up. He was like he featured on all this shit. That shit crazy. They all went against him. But it's probably, I don't know what the fuck they going through behind the scenes, but it's just funny. Brett. Damn, they sending Brett to the stove. Bruh. Yours, whack. Send it back. Send it back. Manku, bro. Manku Mooney. Manku. Manku. Man, is the war over? Is the war over? Cause I'm still I'm still going to Egypt. I don't give a fuck. I hope it's over by July. I'm still going on my trip. They ain't gonna do nothing to me. If they if they take me captive, y'all, you know, hold down the telegram. <laughs> if they take me captive, you know what I'm saying? When I go over there, hold down the telegram, y'all. <laughs> Drake invested in a Brit on base two days ago. Shit, he probably did. That'd be a good decision. Ape and crypto. Would have that'd be crazy if like all celebrities start shilling meme coins and shit. Like we what if it got what the meme coins got so popular? Like it got so popular that everybody just was shilling meme coins and shit. The SEC had come through like the SEC will come through so fast. <laughs> the SEC will shut that shit down. We we'll had one summer. We we'll had one good summer. <laughs> They'd be like, "What? Oh shit!" <laughs> the say, "I hold it down, bro. Yeah, I gotta go back. I'm going to." I'm going to motherfucking Egypt and Israel. I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to Israel, and I'm going to Egypt. They said it's a war going on. I'm like, damn. Can I still go? Like, can I? Can I still go over there? Like, what if they catch me? What if they just I go on a day and that's the that's the day they decide they really want to turn up the war, nigga. <laughs> but I saw I saw this uh this picture of the airport people was leaving. Well, I think it was in Israel. I'm not going to Israel. I'm going to it's Egypt for real. But it's like right there if you look on the map, with walking distance for real. To me, it was like walking distance, like. Or at a point in time, motherfucker could have walked. They ain't had no car. <laughs> I've been trying to join the private chat for a while. Just had a few questions. I tried on Telegram, couldn't make it through. So I was wondering if the Patreon was better. I have Dex Tools, Phantom Wallet, and Bunk by already. Uh, yeah, you could join the private chat any month. We in the middle of the month right now, you know, the middle of the month. I feel like this is about to be a good week. Like we should find a lot of, you know, I, I know we're going to find a lot of good gems all week. And uh, you got everything you need as far as like the bunk bot, Phantom Wallet, you know, you just got to have Solana loaded. And um, the Patreon is really just to be a part of a community. You know, I always... You know, promote my Patreon and I tell people about it because I 
I operate crypto like kind of like a business, like even from everything from making profits to everything. I, I operate crypto like a business, like when it comes to even making YouTube videos, content around it. So I'm always like marketing and promoting like my Patreon, but y'all don't have to join that. But I would say the incentive to join is to just to be a part of a community in crypto because I feel like that's necessary. I feel like being a part of a community in crypto is necessary. Like, don't get me wrong. Once you learn the game, you can do it all alone. You know, you can do it all alone. You don't need nobody. You know, you can trade without nobody even know you trading. You know, you get in and out these plays without making a tweet, a post, nothing about it. Like, you can get in and out these plays. But it's like when you were part of a community, uh, it's just better. I don't know. Like, you, you come across more opportunities. You see other things you may have not seen. Like, I don't know. I, I could just be in my chat and stumble up on something. You know, like yesterday, uh, Pinchy, I was just randomly looked at my chat and i saw the bye bye pinchy 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 so i'm like let me just get in this one and it happened to do good so it be i mean it be plays you know the, the ai bot gonna always help and support you y'all that i feel like that's another tool too that you could use you know um you know you you need you need to use them ai bots too but the the community that could just help you learn more about crypto then you learn it from more people than just me you know there's it's other people in the chat damn why is everybody selling this shit so it, i ain't take no profit it ain't nine o'clock it's still eight o'clock but shit, i thought we'd be holding 500. this ain't a, they ain't do no cto or nothing did they Or they did it or no. Maybe it's just a I don't know. Shit going back to my damn entry point. Go to go to fuck back up. We got Marco in the chat. What up though, Marco? Uh still hold Vault Inu. Woo hoo hoo. No, I don't. And shout out to Vault Inu. That's another one I'll be forgetting to mention, like in the lineup of successful projects I was a part of. But I was real locked in with Vault. That was a that was another project I was real locked in with for a minute. You know, Vault Inu. And um, yeah, it was just like I had started getting into other plays, but a lot of people were supporting Vault. I forgot what play I had like it was a it was a time where it was like vault real heavy but um shit, one thing i can say Voltoshi, the dev of that project is a loyal motherfucker. like he's a loyal motherfucker every single day like every single day i'm not making this up y'all follow vault inu they tweet good morning or they tweet something about vault they stay active and like what he did for the community, basically getting vault listed on every exchange possible, getting uh like bringing the awareness to all these different influencers and channels. Like they was really working, and they were playing with a real bag. Like the dev of vault playing with a real bag, man. Like it's vault zero taxes now, nah, but for for a minute. You know, it always had to tell. It was like, that's what was happening. That's what was happening. It was, I remember. Now I remember. Because Vault was, it was like Big Vault. And it was taking over. Like, it was just, everybody was, it was like the biggest meme coin in crypto at one point. Like, after all the little meme coins, that was like the only one that survived. And then, like, it was a period on Ethereum where all these zero tax coins came out. All these zero tax coins came out. And people didn't like taxes because a, a lot of ethereum players got tax right a lot of, a lot of ethereum plays they was like it was normal it's like all right one percent tax two percent like but they was way higher before it was like at one point on the ETH blockchain ten percent tax was normal you know five percent tax on meme coin plays and that shit 
that should generate a lot of you know marketing funds like when you because of all the volume like you gotta think like five percent of one million like you know what i'm saying or ten percent again ten percent of one million dollars in volume you know and they and that's happening every day so or eight million dollars about ten million like however many million dollars of volume like they got a if they got a 10 percent wallet tax they get 10 percent of that and you know vault had they had a lot of resources a lot of connections i don't know where they they at right now but shit. what i'm not holding it though i'm not holding what it's 11 months ago all that shit happened in 11 months that's oh no 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 it didn't this was a relaunch yeah this was a it the vault relaunched like three four times too they did like i think they this like a v3 vault like so vault went through some relaunches too they had like migration <clears throat> and that was like i was still in vault because i i remember i did the first migration but like at the v3 i wasn't in it no more like by the i, I was in it by the first migration or something then it ran up to like a hundred m's yeah, that's when I when I got out. Vault ran up there and there. 20 M's in the month. God damn. Yeah. I ain't never uh I ain't never did the tax inspector <laughs> on Vault. I knew that I knew it was some money though. I knew it was some money. Cause to market a project like that. It's like you gotta have that, you gotta have that bread. You gotta have that bread. Shit, even if you want to launch your own little meme coin project, you're gonna need about ten thousand. Just like if you want to do it right, if you just want to throw some shit out there, you can just throw some shit out there and see if it's successful. But for everything, yeah. Damn, Brit. Brit on soul, it was looking good. That's why he stayed working, man. <laughs> that shit will motivate the fuck out of me. That should have motivate. That's that's like if Yantra, nigga. That's like if Yantra, if the since the day I launched Yantra, it was just well received and it always stayed up, and we was kept doing millions of dollars in volume, kept doing millions. And I ran up 20 M's in the marketing wall. I would have nigga kept promoting, kept going. Like, I would have probably shielded another play. I was like, damn, Yantra been, y'all would have been like, damn, y'all been talking about Yantra for a whole year. Like, y'all haven't shielded a Pepe play. He haven't talked about nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't have shielded no other play. Like, right after Pyro. It would have been Yantra, and that's it. Like, imagine if that was that's how that's how my little crypto story went. Like after Pyro, because that's when I launched Yantra. It was like right after Pyro. Then it was Yant Yantra, and you know I kept going after that. Though I kept finding different plays, but what if Yantra was like it? <laughs> we went to like a hundred million. I would have only been talking about that shit for man. You wouldn't have been able to pay me to talk about nothing else. They'd be like, yeah, how much you want for a shield? Uh 30,000. What are you talking about? They were like, 30,000? Like, yeah. Oh, some teams got it. I ain't going to. <laughs> Don't lowball yourself. Some of these teams is rich. Bro, some of these teams is so rich. You would be surprised. You would be surprised. Some of these devs are so rich. But you know, you could tell which ones, the up and coming ones. Because sometimes it'll be a dev they hit me up. And I'll tell them. Like if they want like some promo shit, I'll tell them. And it'd be like, yep, good. It will be no resistance. But then some be like, ah, man. you know, I can't even do all that, y'all. But like, no, I still got you out on, you know what I'm saying? Negotiation skills on a million. 
Damn, Brett. They done sold my baby down. I'm mad. I was up. And that be happening too sometimes. I'm going to see. I, I got bought up. Shout out to Vought. Shout out to Vought. You know. Shout out to Votoshi. One of the realest devs in the space. We definitely broke bread. That's why I know. <laughs> I know, like, that's why Pablo probably <laughs> was like, for a minute, Pablo was, he wasn't, he ain't talk about nothing else but Vought. But he was, he was tied in real close with Vatoshi. Like, Vatoshi fuck with me, but he fuck with Pablo heavy. Cause Pablo was like, he ain't talk about nothing else. He ain't even shield no other coin but Vought. It was one point. So he was like, that's real loyalty. Brick! Send it back, man. They got me at the entry point looking crazy. They got me back at the entry point looking crazy. Baby Doge. Yo. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Looking crazy. They got me at the entry point. Like, bro, if I knew y'all wanted to just go to 500, I would have got out. Cause I was up at 500 for sure, for sure. What do you think about pups? I saw a seam shilling that. I saw a seam, a seam shilling that. Thought it was trending. Pups. God damn. I didn't know y'all was pulling up like that. I, I knew y'all was good, but I didn't know y'all was that good. You know? I knew y'all was good. I just ain't know y'all was that good. That's all. That's all, man. Like 56 million is crazy right now. 56 million. Pups. And it's not even an all time high. It's went higher. Sitting up strong. This came out on ninth. Yeah, I saw um, a seam shield this. So it's like every play, a seam really shield. For real, that bitch going to at least go to 50 million. I'm going to catch the next one. Because I, I saw him shilling this, but I never looked it up. Because, like, some big accounts, they don't shield. They don't shield like how I, I be shilling. Like, with the chart, with the telegram. Like, they just put the ticker symbol out like pups you know like they don't put no link to the chart no link to the telegram you don't know which one it is so you gotta you still be having to do some research that's why i noticed like a, with a lot of big crypto twitter accounts that's how they be shilling like they just say the name they don't even put the link to the telegram or the chart Motherfuckers just say the name or they comment on the post on some shit like that. 
you know. Fifty K already capitalized for thousand X. What would you say you made fifty? What you think about Bull? I remember that play. Damn, my baby. Send it back. Nine PM nine AM run. We're gonna see how 9 a.m. I'ma hold it. I'ma hold it. Cause it ain't like I'm in a crazy loss of profit, right? It's like right at my entry point. Um you all said bull. Eleven days ago, one million. They still holding a milli. That's cause everybody in their mama was in this. Like this was a big uh this is a big crypto Twitter play. I had gotten a play, uh, I got in a play like last week. It was bear. Yeah. I made like, I made like eight bands on it. Wasn't that bear? I recorded a video of that. I made a screenshot, I forgot. One of the plays I made, it was a play I made like eight bands on, I think it was bear though. But it was like it was the it was the um counterpart to this meta. So yeah. I thought it would do better. Um do 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 Yeah, it was a uh, uh yeah, well it was called bear. It was just like bull. But this has sent to like what did this go to like 20 million, 10 million? I know it went over 10 million. This is one of the plays that went over 10 million this month. But I had got in it was a spinoff earlier this like last week or something called Bear B E R. And uh I was I think I made a video about that shit. I know I made a, a little YouTube short. But I had made like eight bands on that shit. Do 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 is all the jeets exhausted? Goddamn. He's still trending number two. Still hold it. I think as soon as I get off live, it's going to send again. Hopefully it's going to again. Goddamn. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I like Solana at 150. Solana looking good at 150. Solana looking good at 150. I think once the Bitcoin haven't happened, you know, I can't wait to that shit. Just once they make the news, articles about that shit, you know, the Bitcoin having is, it's official. And everybody started talking about that shit. It's going to be a ripple effect. It's going to be a crazy pump. The market going to be green as fuck that day. Green as fuck. I'm talking about everything up. Everything gonna be up, and that's only in a couple days. That's only in a couple days. That play having. Let me check on that play. 
This play is what the bro, bro. I'm sick. Damn, this was ah, oh, this is a crazy ass play, bro. And what's so crazy about this coin having like? I don't know how they did it, but it was a fair launch, right? But how they bought the supply, like the team of this shit, they bought the supply so out cold and they holding the floor like they, I don't know how they did that shit. But if you look, let me see if I can demonstrate what I'm talking about. But when I first... When I first seen it, like the distribution on this project is so crazy. Somebody had initially pointed it out to me. But it's like for the first, let me see. Like nobody got 1%. This one wallet's loaded up. You got 2%. I think that's a dead wallet. But like a lot of these first wallets, all of these, like, with this 0.1%, a lot of these is from the team. Like they bought, but it don't look like, you know, like how airdrops we looking. Air, it don't look like it was an airdrop. And if you scan this contract, it don't say it was any airdrops. Like on the um, dev selling bot, y'all could look again and make to tell me like if I'm wrong. But the way they bought this shit and divided it up between all of these wallets like with the right amounts like a lot of these was i look at it you can see it was just one transaction like it wasn't like a bunch of transactions like a lot of these just got like they divided up the wallets so crazy and then it was like when it got to 400k as soon as it got to as soon as this coin got to 400k bro Right, having soon as this got to 400k, it shot to 10 million like in 30 minutes. Like, I watched the whole thing, that's why this is this play so crazy to me. Like, that's two hundred thousand dollars. Ah, all the money is just like it's just keep that's the thing. Like, I don't know. I just got to go into a, a hyperbolic performance because it's like, I don't know why it's like that with me. Like when I hit on something, I hit on something crazy. And then I'd be like, all right, you know, I'll be good with my profit. Then it'd be more plays than came out. And then I'd just be, I don't know. I'd be wanting to hit on all the big plays. I said, I keep saying that shit. Like, but I want to have a week where I hit on all of the big plays. It'd be like, if I hit on one big play, then I don't hit on a, another big play. It'd be like I'll be catching like all the little mini plays. Like, damn, I want to hit this big play, that big play. Like, just not going to roll of all big plays. All right. This shit is at 21 minutes. When I was just showing y'all on live, it was at like 9, 10, but the line was so crazy. I'm like, they're gonna send this. And this project is probably gonna go to over a hundred million. It's probably gonna go to over a hundred million by the time uh fucking the Bitcoin having actually occur. You know. The best to see dev tokens is the AI token scanner. Okay. Man, I was sleeping when having lunch. It was crazy because that morning, even when it launched, it was like, it was still a lot of time because it launched at three in the morning, but it didn't go crazy to eight. And like, we was up in the chat showing other shit. Like people was up in the chat. Shit, we had all, I just remember that morning, we was like, good morning. Like everybody was like, good morning and shit. It was like we about to go, we about to hunt for a gym, and then like we start shilling other shit. And then I, then I just somebody scanned this bitch at a million dollars in in the chat. 
It was like, this shit at a million. Heaven. I'm like, damn, I just seen that on the bot. It was it was one bot called this. One bot called this. It was the fucking AI Solana, that one, that 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 sweet one we used, that good one. This, that was the only bot they called this. And I looked at it, I'm like, damn, this shit was just at four high school to score. It went from a million to 10 million. Like, you couldn't even. They had chilled at like five million. <laughs> it was chill. I watched the whole thing. That's why I'm like, I'm just mad I didn't ate. It'd be crazy because of the amount of soul I'm sitting on. It'd be like, I can just easily just uh, getting all this shit. But I'll be like, damn. I'm about to get it. I'm about to go meme coin crazy, y'all. I ain't going to lie. One of these weeks, I'm just going to meme coin crazy. I'm about to be like, fuck it. We getting in everything. Anything I get a, a hunch about, because I definitely had a hunch about this shit. Even at five million, I'm like, even at five million, I was I had a crazy. I'm like, bro, I could ape a whole, I could ape fifty k. I'm like, at five million, I'm like, I could ape a whole fifty k, and still, I'm like, I'll, I'll probably double up to a hundred real quick. At five million, I wanted to ape a lot of fucking money in this shit, but it's like, oh, man. I don't be aping that big. Like, how I be making my money in crypto, I be, it don't even take that much for me to make tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands. So I don't even be feeling like I got to ape 20,000 or 30,000 at one time, even though it'd be like opportunities, like, like for me to do that shit and be like, damn, you would flip hard as fuck. Like, but then it's like, I think when you ape that big too, that that be these spikes. Like when people be aping big, then it, it spike and then it come down. And then before you see your profit, like it gotta go back up above that. Cause sometimes like when I ape on, on projects, like I look at the I look at the entry point, I go back up and see the entry point. And then I done shot the damn market cap up. And it'll have to before on a bunk bot, before I'm in a profit, it gotta go back above that entry point. You know, like say if you buy at you know you might buy you might think it's you know 150 it might say 150 on the chart but you buy and then it send it to 180 then on your bot it's gonna report 180 then you you're not gonna be in a profit till it go back over 180. but when you ate bigger i think it's send the market up higher like say if you was to eight at a million then you buy then it say Ugh. now on the bot on the buy buy say you bought at 1.1 million but then you go back to the shit and y'all still at a million, like, cause people be buying and selling during the, the old buy. You gotta wait till it go back over. I mean, that's common sense. It sounds like, as I'm explaining, it sounds like common sense, but y'all, uh, some people probably don't understand or know what I'm talking about. Man, the heaven is on 420. It's gonna be crazy. It haven't this week, crazy in general. Brett! Let's go. Send it back. Send my baby back. She ain't all the way out, but goddamn it, she ain't near the entry point. <laughs> she ain't all the way back. But she ain't near the entry point. We need to send it back to 500. Send it back to 500. Oh! Somebody just scored on the chart. Eight. See, like that eight. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, how you see that green candle? Like, how somebody ate. Somebody just bought right here, but it sent it up. And then it probably say, yo, entry point, whoever this top number is, whatever that number was. And then. Like most of the time when you ate big, people sell heavy right on it. But once that red candle, once it get above this green candle, then you're gonna be in a profit. But that's what happened like when you ate big on plays, like it's, it'll make a green candle flare up. And until it get back above that green candle, you won't be in a profit. So, yeah. That'd be my only thing. But some plays, it'd be, it'd be safe as fuck to 8-Big. Like, I was feeling that same way about uh, earlier this month. It was that Hobbies play. 
it was a scene K, it was at like 50 million. I'm like, damn, if I ate, I think I wanted to ate like 25K at one time. I'm like, damn, if I ate 25K, this shit flipped another 25, like just off of one little, but it just be aping that much money. I don't care how much money I got. I don't, I don't, I ain't at that level. My risk tolerance ain't, even though I be saying it like, I'm about to put 20, I didn't, my biggest I went, I didn't win 10 bands on an eight. You know, I done went 10K on an eight before, but you know, that's like the top. But that bitch flip. Like every time I, I go big like that, that shit'll flip for real. But I gotta know to play good. You know, I gotta know to play good. I go big like that. But that's the biggest I went for real, for real. I don't think I went bigger than 10K. At times, I've been wanting to, yeah, 20K, 25K, apes. But nigga, 1600 $800, $500, then there's some magic. Brit, Brit may do like heaven. Ooh. I don't know, I wish. Heaven is a strong ass meta. And like I said, the team, they did something. I don't know what the fuck they did, but they did that shit right. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't having lunch on Pump Fun. What is Pump Fun? What is Pump Fun? That was my second time hearing about that. Somebody was like, it was some some dev was in my was in my uh, DM. He was like, yeah, all the Pump Fun snipers is out. We can send this. It was some play. It had sent real hard, but it had it dipped down, and it was like asking me to call it. I'm like, shit, that shit looked a little. <laughs> I ain't gonna. Even, I don't even know if my video gonna help. So I'm like, I I ain't even do that that offer. But somebody told me in my DM about Pump Fun. I remember. Pump is where you can buy it before it hits decks. Damn buy it before it hit radium and shit how that's where the coins are first born and made hey man send me a dm about that like what is that i don't know nothing about that for real or you can send me a link something so what pump fun is bro I heard that's my second time hearing that. It was like uh somebody it was like yesterday or something. It was like yesterday. But somebody was uh some team, some dev was in my chat, in my DM asking me to call something and he was like, Yeah, just look at the chart. It was like it was a pump fun, it launched on pump fun. I'm like that shit sent it had sent for real at first but it, it did like motherfucking falling knife send brick back i should have bought some on that dip i should have bought some on that dip <laughs> Benji <laughs> They keep launching Benji plays <laughs> This man Because he probably do know how to launch plays Ain't telling nobody Be studying shit Don't tell nobody <laughs> they just be studying plays launching shit like yeah <clears throat> go to it in your phantom wallet oh it's in phantom wallet you know you learn something new every day man the plays have to hit 50 7k market cap before it gets put on radium oh I didn't know that I ain't know that. 
I did not know that. Because I'm buying everything on the bot. So the bot probably bypass all that shit too. Like, well, it ain't like I'm buying it on Radium. I don't know how to, where the bot buying that shit from. But. Come on, Brett. Send it back. Monku. Monku. Monku sound like a tribal warrior. Are you Monku? From the land of Zulu. What are you talking about, boy? Monku from Zulu. That's what Monku sound like. Man, seeing everything in sight. <sighs> seeing everything in sight. Shout out to Crypto Scales for the 199 Super Chat. She said meme coins are used to test this new technology. Yeah. That's what I that's what I gotta um start remembering, you know, just to start making that uh that difference, you know, because a lot of times when I talk about crypto. I be talking about like I would say I just say I do crypto, 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 right? And then people can only look at it one way. They like, well, then how you make all that money off, you know, just Bitcoin and Ethereum? They be like, or well, I tell people like casual conversation, like, yeah, I do crypto, you know, that's but that's only like one level. That's why I, that's why I say now like, how it's different categories. Like, yeah, it's crypto. That's like the big crypto, and that's more similar to like. You can relate that to like a more advanced stock market, right? When it comes to Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can buy those assets. They're like new performing assets, you know, volatile assets that you can buy. It's going to see growth. And then we got meme coins. Meme coins is different. Like, you know, it's different than it's still crypto, but we trade meme coins, you know, and that's how we make money off of meme coins, you know. I do gotta continue telling people that because some people are like I do crypto and they're like Bitcoin, Ethereum. They don't know it's like a whole nother world, DeFi. You know, it's really like DeFi, but we in and crypto. The big crypto is like that's for all the institutional money now. Like all the institutional money, like you know, we make our money and we buy those. We get those same coins back you know the solanas the ethereum shit like that but right now that big market is used for that's the vehicle for all the big money to come through it's going to affect us in the mean coin market because we know how to how when the price of bitcoin pump when the price of solana pump when the price of ethereum pump how that affect the mean coins right it always it always um trickle down you know what i'm saying it always trickle down uh, Bitcoin having. Oh, yeah, I'm getting in this. Bitcoin having. The retarded meta was so strong, man. The 
retarded meta really took up. Why they ain't pace? Bitcoin heaven. The Bitcoin heaven. This one got to send. Send this one for everybody that missed the other one. God damn it. Send this one for everybody that missed the other one. You know. The Bitcoin having. HBTC. HBTC. Solana is up. Bitcoin heaven. You got to pull it up. You got to pull it up now. Bitcoin heaven. On the retarded side. <laughs> we got the Bitcoin heaven on the retarded side. Send it. This 9 a.m. alpha. 9 a.m. alpha, man. Bitcoin having. Let me join the TG. I just aped. I ain't even joined the TG. Bitcoin having. Oh, they posted the team hoes. Zero supply. Oh, they trying to send this bitch. They trying to get the whales in this motherfucker chat. They posting everything. Revoke, burnt, zero supply. They want you to know. We buying it off the ground flow. The big clean hand. Send this retarded motherfucker. Let me see. How's the TG? No! all right now only thing about bitcoin having ain't no admins in the chat they they need some admins in the chat whoever run the chat they running it from the the main name they run it anonymous i mean but uh that's the only thing but i'm in though i wanted to send um y'all yeah, check out dough dough What up, though? 130K on the 14th. Drop that midnight. Or is that noon? Noon.
It looked like he could reverse. If he get up out this hole, it's going in the right direction. It just got to get up to like 200,000, 300,000. After they break 200,000, you got to get like right over here, like 250. Try to be looking good. Try to be looking good at 250. I don't know the meta. What we doing, Unky? What we doing? Come on, Britt. Don't go out like that. Big trending. Don't go out like that. Now it's your time. It's 9 a.m. It's 9 a.m. The West Coast Wheels waking up. Let's see. Bitcoin having chart is holding up good. Okay, right there. We right there. We good. We good. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. How long have I been live? Bro, check mofo. Motherfucker with the hat. Look at Mew with the hat. Come on, Bitcoin heaven. You doing the you doing your motherfucking thing. Stay up. All right, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna get off live for a minute. I've been live too long, but these are the plays I got for y'all right now. Bitcoin having uh, Brett. We are gonna see what these two plays do. Y'all can shield me any plays y'all want on Twitter. I don't know what the fuck happened to my Twitter blue check. I think I changed my profile. I need to. I'm gonna change my damn picture back. I can't get my check with this picture. I'm gonna change my damn picture back. They don't believe it's me. But uh wait, Mew with the hat. Let me check these last couple coins before I get off. Make sure it ain't no real elf. Mew with the hat. That's uh that one. I don't know if that's the real one, but that chart is out of there. Eight hours ago, 1.5 milli. Yeah, y'all went crazy. Mofo went crazy, and this went higher. This went to what? 2.4? 2.3? Yeah. Mofo. Mofo look good. Oh shit, we breaking out. We're breaking out on that Bitcoin having play. Make sure y'all check out this HBTC. We're gonna see how this one do. Damn! They aping this motherfucker. We're gonna see how this one do, but that's what I got. <coughs> <coughs> that's what I got for y'all. <clears throat> Which says stop GM uh Brett. We up on this one. Hell yeah. All right. So yeah. That's what I got for y'all. But we're gonna keep hunting for gems. Y'all know I'm gonna pull up later on. I'm gonna let y'all know how these plays did. 
you know, I'm going to go live later on. We're going to see how these early morning plays did. It's only 9 a.m. I went live so early. You know, I'm getting off earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this shit going crazy. It's refreshing slow on the bike. I'm going to set 108. But this shit going crazy. They aping. Bitcoin having. They was waiting for another Bitcoin having play. Because having this one just came out the blue and went super crazy. So we need a part two. <laughs> we need a part two. All right, bro. I'm being a little patient with Brett. Let's back at my damn inch point again. We in good profit right now. I caught this at 53K. <laughs> Bitcoin having stopped Yan from getting off stream. I'm like, damn. This shit pumping for real. <coughs> it's cleaning up for Brick. I mean, Brick, it ain't like. It's just like back at my entry point again. It, I don't want to be the Derek McJeter. Or I don't want to be Derek Jeter. I said Mick Jeter. I don't want to be Derek Jeter. But God damn it. Might have to hit a home run. Might have to hit a home run on a bit. Oh, we going great. Bitcoin having just came through and clean up on aisle five. Clean up on aisle five. Oh, they going crazy. They really want to do something. Flip, flip, Brit. Go to 230. I'm going to be happy. If this just, if this go higher than Brit is right now, <coughs> that'd be crazy. <coughs> Shit, my bad. Send it. It's a million dollar ticker. HBTC. I grabbed this one at 53. My entry is 53 on the bot. I said, huh. Let me see what I got. Okay. I got 1%. We up. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be forgetting the price of soul. I'll just be like, like I'll be forgetting how much soul. I'll be aping sometime. Or the price of it. But yeah, it probably got like either 0. 0.8. I'm like right at max. Well, right at 1% value. Just got on deck, Strina. Just 
Just in a deck screen or trending. And Brit going back up. Send it to a milli. We got the plug in the chat. Damn, somebody just ate. <laughs> What's somebody ape on the chart, bro? Somebody just ate the chart. Or was that a bot? Damn, what they ate? 40 so. Somebody ate 33 so, bro. And then somebody sold 41. I don't know if that was done right after. They put a leg on the chart. That's what I'm talking about. Like, when you see that crazy line, that'd be when somebody ate. So say if they held, like if somebody ate that bitch and they held, and everybody sold down, it had to get all the way back up. That's 400K. They sent it to 400K off that buy. They aping this shit. I don't know what that was though. HBTC, y'all. That's the ticker symbol. HBTC. HBTC. And Brett are the new ones. Book of Pussy. Gotta keep a book of pussy. <clears throat> Bitcoin having. Send it. <laughs> These names wild as hell. <laughs> That's meme coins for you. If it don't make you laugh, don't buy it. All the little plays I, I made money on for real when I think about it. Some funny looking ass plays. <laughs> plays that make you laugh. <coughs> Came up off that dog. Got rich off that dog. Like dumb money. That dumb money. It'll be like, how you make all your money? I bought dumb money. I thought I bought dumb money, sonny. Dumb money. All of these mean coins. That'd be some funny mean coins, bro. Like I ain't seen some funny mean coins. And then like we'll be making them even funnier, like that little the buy bot. The gift they be choosing for the buy bot, sometimes it just be like make the mean coin. You know what I'm saying? That alone is like how that be getting people to buy. That be getting people to buy that that motherfucking buy buy. You know, the image, the gift you choose, the name you choose. That's like ninety percent of the meme coin game, right there. 
just choosing funny names and the right gifts and the right images the right memes <clears throat> Okay, Britt. Britt back at 300. We holding good. HBTC still at 100 bands. Bitcoin have it. So, I'm about to get off live for real this time, y'all. Two hours, but it's still early, though. It's still early, so I feel like we got these plays, and then it's still going to be plays later on in the day. We're going to see how everything survived, right? We're going to see how everything survived. Uh, I like the narrative behind these two plays that I'm showing y'all. Bitcoin having. Y'all know the Bitcoin having coming up. Uh, Bitcoin having coming up this week. This is the week of the Bitcoin having, so... It's the most important, one of the most important events in crypto. So I say the, the most important event in crypto, you know. Right now, it's the Bitcoin having. You know, as far as like legal shit, like them ETFs and institutional money, that's an important event too. But the Bitcoin having is always, like y'all can go look up the chart. Let me see if I can pull it up to see like, to show y'all how the Bitcoin have an effect. Because some people don't know how this been affecting the price. All right, this is a good picture. So you can see we on the fourth Bitcoin happen. Right, we're on the fourth Bitcoin having right now. And you can see the price of Bitcoin every time the having started, every time it was initiated. And then you see how it's gradually going up and to the right. Now we start in the fourth Bitcoin having. Look at the price we start in the fourth Bitcoin having at. Right. We start in the fourth Bitcoin having at a sixty thousand, like just say over a sixty five thousand dollar Bitcoin. Over sixty-five thousand dollars. We about to be starting a fourth Bitcoin having with, and like we look at the history, the last having of twenty twenty, it was at eight thousand. It was at eight thousand. Ran up crazy, you know. It ran up crazy. Uh, Y'all know we had. We ran up to sixty-eight thousand after that, right? It ran from eight thousand to sixty-eight thousand. Was the all-time high. Uh, for that bull run and right now you know we had sixty six thousand so once the having initiated that's why I'm like you if you look at all the predictions for bitcoin this year it's a hundred thousand like big they everybody's saying by the end of the year bitcoin is gonna be worth a hundred thousand this year you know over a hundred thousand people saying like 150 you know once it get to a hundred thousand per bitcoin it's gonna shoot to um you know 150 it ain't gonna just sit at 100 it's gonna do some parabolic after that but yeah like we in that part of the cycle so i want y'all to know like this where we at on the board for crypto and y'all gotta study this like this is science this is like there's some technology behind this shit, but it's all supply and demand and it's crazy how it play out because every year crypto is getting more and more known you know it's becoming more and more accepted more infrastructure being built around crypto we're seeing it everywhere now more people know about this shit and it's all correlating with the having and each having is all a, it's a supply and demand event it's a supply and demand event because it's reducing the supply of bitcoin that can be minted and every year the demand of cryptocurrency is going up so this is like a supply and demand event and it's only 21 million bitcoin i want to put that out there it's only 21 million bitcoin and there's billions of people on earth and we're talking about the next financial vehicle like the next financial 
currency, like the next currency of the world, for real. You know, this is this is all of this crypto shit is about to be used like in normal commerce. Like in a minute, you're gonna be able to pay rent, buy cars, houses, groceries, everything with crypto. Just watch. Don't believe nothing I say. You don't gotta believe shit I'm talking about. But just watch what happened. Just watch what happened. But it's your boy Yon World. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on both post notifications. I'm out. Peace.